as a Nigerian and as an Arsenal fan, I wouldn't take Osimhen because he misses a lot of chances. That's what you know. A lot of people tend to watch European games and they watch highlights, and the highlights never show that many misses all the time. They just show the goals. Yeah, he does score goals, but he does miss a lot of. He does waste a lot of chances. Yeah, and well to be a top top striker in in hey, Europe. Guys. Or in the world, you have to be clinical, and he's not clinical you do. as a Nigerian, as an Arsenal. This is where I ask you guys the question. I ask you guys the question: Who should Arsenal sign as our striker? And I don't believe we're going to sign that striker this January. That's my honest truth. So, would you sign Victor Osimhen? Would you sign Isaac if you could from from uh, Newcastle? Would you sign Ivan Tony? Because that's personally who I would want. Would you go back in for Dusan Vlahovic? Or would you go for some youngsters like Zachariah or Sesko or somebody else? Let me know in the comment section, what do you think Arsenal should do? And we're going to dive into some of the rumors and transfer talk as uh, going around the Arsenal circles today. And of course, if you guys don't know, this video today is sponsored by none other than SofaScore. SofaScore is the best app for football and everything that you need. Set your notifications, have live scores, player ratings, everything you need from SofaScore. And you'll never miss another game again. So make sure you check out SofaScore and let's get this show started. As today, Arsenal Transfer News. Yes, 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 people. So let me give you guys this list. This is a list of some of the players Arsenal are currently linked to for the striker market. Now, Isaac will not be leaving Newcastle in January. Ivan Tony will be staying in Brentford and it's been confirmed. Dusan Vlahovic will, is not for sale this January window. Sethko, on the other hand, I need to look into him quickly. So he is currently at... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, RB Salzburg. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, sorry, RB Leipzig. He's currently at RB Leipzig. And if I'm not mistaken, is it RB Leipzig? or Yeah, his current team is RB Leipzig. Uh, and because he originally played for Salzburg, I, I was mixing up the two. He's 20 years old. The likelihood of us pulling the trigger for him is not going to happen. That's the honest truth. Then you have this gentleman here. Um, let me just look into this for you guys quickly. Um, this gentleman here is... Also linked to Chelsea, he's 25 years old. He's a tall um, Swedish striker, another Slavic striker, and he currently plays for Coventry, uh, Coventry City, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just confirm to make sure that I have the right club. Yeah, uh, No, Sporting, my apologies. He originally played on Coventry City on loan, was with them, and then he moved to Sporting. So it's unlikely that we would get him. But of course he did. But he is doing okay apparently in Sporting right now. He has 13 goals in 17 games in the Portuguese league. That is another player we're linked to, Victor Osimhen, of course, and Zachary, who's currently playing for Bologna in Italy. Now, just to let you guys know, personally, I don't think we're gonna get Alexander Isaac. I think he's gonna stay at Newcastle. Dusan Vlahovic, I don't think we're linked to him. Victor Ozyman is expensive. He's going to cost upwards of $103 million. And I don't think we should be going for youngsters at this moment in time. We need players who are ready made to help us push for a title race. We cannot afford to be developing our leading line striker as we are trying to push on for a league title. I think the best player available at this moment in time is Ivan Tony, And I would go for Ivan Tony. That's just me. I would go for Ivan Tony, and I think Ivan Tony is the player who can help us push on to go get this league title, who's the player who could help us push on and potentially go on and push on to win a league title. That's what I think, and that's who I think we should be going for at this moment in time. Now, with news being said, there's also other news going around. Arsenal are looking for a midfielder, and who are we linked to? None other than Zubamendi. But it's now reported that uh, Martin Zubamendi is unlikely to be to be uh, leaving uh, uh, the club mid-season. That is the honest truth. It is looking more and more unlikely 
that Martin Zubermendi deal is close. It, it's not going to happen this January. Martin Zubermendi is probably going to stay at uh, Leverkusen, uh, sorry, not Leverkusen, Real Sociedad for another season. And that's just their honest truth at this moment in time. We are not going to be getting him at this moment in time. Now, there are some other stories that are floating about. So I'm just going to show you, I'm just going to tell you guys some of the other stuff that's floating about at this moment in time. We've heard that, of course, we've heard rumors in the past that KBR might be sold. KBR is staying. He's not going nowhere. We also uh, we also heard that Mikel Arteta sent scouts to go watch some games between RB Leipzig and Leverkusen, as we are interested in Fring Pong, who's a right back. We also are interested in Xavi Simon, and, and we're going to see what happens there. But of course, there's the conversation of Ivan Tony. I've already told you guys he's not going nowhere. Um, Onana, Everton have set a ridiculous asking price of £50 million, uh, as reported by the Telegraph. It is unlikely that we get him this transfer window either. Um, but I do think Ivan Tony in the summer is more than likely to happen. At this moment in time, there's no guarantee that that will happen or not. But we're going to have to wait and see. Now, let's 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 move on quickly to Benzema to uh, because there is links to Benzema. Just so you guys know, Arsenal, who were offered Benzema earlier in the month, have considered the move for a versatile... De- Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. I did not expect this. When I looked up Benzema, I did not expect this. So reports have come out that Arsenal have been offered Benzema earlier in the month. Could that mean that we would actually go for Karim Benzema? I don't know. It looks like we're moving for a more de- uh, a defender before the end of the transfer window. So let's see if we get the defender. But Mikel Arteta is not so keen on Benzema at this moment in time, it seems. Interesting. Looks like we were offered Benzema, but they probably said no. That is an interesting, interesting development. Um, They probably said no because of the wages. They probably said no. That's crazy to think, but hey, um, how do you feel? Are you upset? Because to me, I kind of feel like the only logical reason would be the wages. I'm upset in the fact that we're not looking to go sign a striker in January, but I understand that there might be some financial stipulations in why we can't get him. But if his current club can pay a big portion of his wages and we can bring him in for a reasonable amount, why don't we capitalize on that if we think we can push on to go win the league? This is just interesting. But of course, it does look like he is headed to Lyon. Most likely, if he does leave the club that he's currently at, he'll end up at Lyon. Um of course, we also have to speak about um, a couple more players before we move on any further. We got to speak about Jorginho. There is a rumor flying about that both Partey and Jorginho could be gone very soon. Yes, both of them, Partey and Jorginho. And the reports came out that Besiktas are interested in Jorginho. Yes. Bashiktas, the Turkish club, are interested in Jorginho and have made initial contacts with Arsenal over Jorginho to the point where you got Bashiktas um, top journalists talking about the potential of Jorginho signing for their club. I don't think it's going to be a situation where Jorginho leaves, but would you be okay with selling Jorginho in January? Personally, for me, I think it would be ridiculous, especially since we're not bringing in too many players this window. I think that Arsenal should keep Jorginho this transfer window. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you guys think it's a good move to potentially sell Jorginho in January? I think it it would be a bad move for Arsenal to sell Jorginho in January. And I think we should probably keep Jorginho, in my opinion. I don't think it would be a good move to do that. Um, But we're going to have to wait and see where things escalate with that. At this moment in time, everyone's just talking about Ivan Tony, Ivan Tony. Now, you guys do know that the Daily Mail have written that that uh, Emil Smith Rowe has rejected a move away to West Ham. I spoke about it re- recently on a video, but of course, Emil Smith Rowe has also been linked away from the club, and he's been linked to West Ham, where they re- where they rejected a move. Let me just show you guys uh, this article right here, so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Here we go. So 
West Ham have uh, requested uh, a loan with for Emma Smith Rowe, and then that was turned down, and they then turned their attention to Calvin Phillips at Manchester City. Now, Zuba Mendy deal is reportedly close. Our Arsenal are close to sealing a deal for Zuba Mendy, but that must be for the summer. He's he's very close to accepting an offer to join Arsenal in the summer. So similar to how we had the situation with Declan Rice almost pre-agreed in January, it looks like we have the Zuba Mendy deal pretty much pre-agreed there. And then of course we've already spoken about the stance with Kareem Benzema, and that looks like that looks like that, ladies and gentlemen. There's not much more. Where's the Ivan Tony stuff? Of course, Rio Ferdinand and Abog Lahore are talking about Arsenal should go for Ivan Tony. This is going to be a story that goes on until the summer. So at this moment in time, it looks like Arsenal are lining up a move for Zuba Mendy in January in the summer. It looks like Arsenal are lining up a move for Ivan Tony in the summer. It looks like Arsenal might not do any business this window except maybe a defender at the end of the window, and that's it. Unfortunately, not too much on today's update, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hopefully you've gotten up to this point in the video, and let me know, what's your favorite NBA or NFL team if you guys watch those sports, because I watch those sports always also, and I really do enjoy them. And finally, the link to, to the, uh, the link to SofaScore is in the description. Make sure you guys do support the channel sponsor and download the app. It's absolutely free. And if you're tired of missing the big games and you're tired of feeling like you, uh, you're you lost in the world of sports, level up your game and get SofaScore the app. It is the best app on the planet to keep you in control of the action and keep you informed on the games as it comes. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out of here. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys on the next show. You got to talk football. You know what it is. We're out, people. Love for the love. And that's it. We'll catch you guys in the next video.